Almost done, Plague Dark. Next I add the Tincture. Then we get all the power. What are you guys doing now? Oh, how ya be that guy? Good to see ya. I wish I could say the same, but I feel like you guys are up to something again. Me? Nah. All done. Here ya go, Plague Doc. <laughs> that smells like death. What is in that? Guys, I have a better idea. Let's talk about it. In my personal life, I'm into health and fitness, and I like carrying some of those principles over to my writing. But before I get started, consult your doctor before taking any of these vitamins or supplements that I'm about to recommend. No, not you, Plague Doc. I'm talking about a qualified medical professional. Like all the other organs in the body, the brain is a muscle and requires nutrients to stay strong and efficient. The first supplement I'd like to recommend is omega-3 fatty acids. Many health institutions have written articles and reports on omega-3 fatty acids. And as always, I advise that you do your own research as well as listening to myself or anyone else that you might get information from. There is a myriad of information out there on the many health benefits that this vitamin can provide you. One of the major benefits about omega-3 fatty acids is that it helps to sharpen the long and short-term memory as well as improve your mood. All factors that can benefit a rider while they're going through their work in progress, especially you pantsers that live in your heads. There are many sources of omega-3 acids, varying in degrees of quality and quantity that are provided. Currently, the best one in my opinion is Dr. Berg's cod liver oil, which is guaranteed 100% organic with no synthetic vitamins. And this isn't a paid advertisement, I swear. I just want the best for my fellow writers. The next important supplement I want to recommend is iodine, something that many of us don't get enough of in our daily diets. Now, there are many studies that show and prove that iodine helps with the flow of thought and cognition. With many of the patients during these medical trials reporting that they were able to clear the dreaded brain fog that many of us suffer from. And the reason for this is because lack of iodine in your diet can lead to neurotransmission problems and lack of development in the brain. Once again, consult your doctor before taking any of these and check for any possible allergies ahead of time and always follow the recommended dosages. Now, understand I'm not claiming that these supplements are going to make you write the next great American novel. Supplements aren't a crutch but rather an assistance. Liken it to having the best quality oil for your car's engine. But nothing replaces hard work and efficacy. If any of you have ever tried these before or are currently taking them, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear you about your results and the conclusions that you arrived to. And if anyone's considering taking these, I'd love to hear about your journey in the future if you ever come back to this video. These are only a few that I'd like to recommend for now. We'll go over more advanced supplements in the future. I hope this advice adds a few more tricks up your sleeve and makes the journey that much better for you. Thanks for watching and take care. Ha, ha, ha.